Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with your show, First Pleasant Grove and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional out of Matthew 5. And our verse for today is 43. And it says, you have heard the law that says, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. And so Jesus again starts this teaching by saying, you've heard that there is a law. And he's, he's correct. There's a law that says, love your neighbor. And then the law says, but hate your enemy, hate the foreigner. And Jesus takes it a step further and says, but I say, yes, love your neighbor, but love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. And so the Bible commands us today as we get up and you know begin to start our day. Is there anybody that we consider an enemy? Is there anybody that we hate? The Bible says to love them and to pray for those who persecute you. Maybe there's somebody who you just can't stand because they're constantly trying to plot your downfall. They're constantly trying to plan your downfall. And the Bible says, pray for them. You know, it's very hard to have ill feelings towards somebody if we're praying for them. And I'm not saying praying the psalm that David, you know, David says, pass my enemies down before me. <laughs> I'm not saying pray that, but pray for their welfare. You know, it's, it, the Bible says to love our enemies because that's exactly what Christ did. Don't you realize that before we were saved, you and I were an enemy of God? We were an enemy of Christ. And yet Christ loved us and laid his life down for us. And so he's not asking us to do something that he's never done. In fact, he's asking us to do the very thing that he has done, to love our enemies, to pray for those who persecute us. And that way we are showing them the love of the Father. And so today, as you get up and you start your day, ask the Lord to give you the love of Christ. If there are certain people in your life that you just can't stand, ask God to remove those ill feelings because they are not from Christ. They are from Satan and they will get you nowhere. So our message today is love our enemies. Pray for those who persecute us. Amen.